slowing down and speeding up. Find the interval for slowing down and speeding up from the given graph of position, velocity and acceleration. Well, for slowing down what is important to understand? Let's try to see that part. So we have two aspects, one is slowing and the other one is speeding up, right? Now, how can you relate position, velocity and acceleration with slowing and speeding up? That's a big question, right? So what we observe is that if you are moving north and you are accelerating, that means you are speeding, right? So that means both are in the same direction. Similarly, if you are moving south and you are accelerating, I mean de-accelerating kind of, then it is actually speeding up, right? So if you are, so basically what is happening here is you are speeding up when both velocity and acceleration are in the same direction. That means either both are positive or both are negative. So that is the criteria by which we can figure out whether it is speeding or slowing down. So for speeding, the condition is that if velocity is greater than zero, then acceleration is also greater than zero. That means in the same direction. Or if velocity is less than zero, then acceleration is also less than zero. That means speeding up in the negative direction in both ways, right? Accelerating in the negative direction. That is what it means, correct? Now, the other half is the slowing down. That means velocity and acceleration are in opposite. If velocity is greater than zero, then acceleration should be less than zero. That means if one is positive, the other one is negative. So basically, speeding up is a combination of positive, positive, or negative, negative. Whereas slowing up is a combination of positive negative or negative positive between velocity and acceleration in short, right? This point will be absolutely clear when we look into the graph. Now, in this graph we did analyze that displacement, velocity and acceleration are which graphs? So this one we said was displacement, right? And this one is velocity for us. And this one is acceleration. Why? Derivative, let's start from here. This is a linear function. This is degree 1. This is degree 2. And this is more than 2. So when we do derivative, then what do we get? We get one less degree. Do you see that? In general, let's say small. Let's take a very basic function. That is y equals to x to the power of n, then what is y dash equals to n times x to the power of n minus 1, one degree lower. So as you do derivative, second derivative will be n times n minus 1, x to the power of n minus 2, another degree lower. So if we do consider those things, then we find that this is the lowest degree, right? So higher than that and even higher. So that is how it is. Now, for slowing down and speeding up, we need to only check graphs for velocity and acceleration. That means the ones which are dotted. So, let's see where are they positive and where are they negative, right? So, as far as the velocity is concerned, so velocity is positive before this and after this. That is velocity, right? So, velocity is positive here. Before this, this dotted is positive and after this. This is when velocity is positive. Now, how about acceleration? Acceleration is positive after this point, right? And before that, it's negative. So acceleration is positive all through from here, right? But it's negative on the other side. Now, which are the common points when they are positive? This is what you have to figure out. So the common points give you speeding up. Both are positive here from this 6 onwards. They are both positive, right? So that is one answer. They both are positive after 6. So 6 to infinity. Right? And both are negative where? Both are negative between 2 to 4. Right? Both are negative between 2 to 4. Do you see that? So, so that means also it is speeding up from 2 to 4 because they have both same signs. Do you get the point? So that is how you figure out in which portions are they speeding up 
and in which portions are they slowing down, right? In the other portion, like here, velocity is positive, but acceleration is negative. So they have different signs. Therefore, it is slowing down. Do you see that? So it's slowing down from 0 to 2. And similarly, in this portion, acceleration is positive, but velocity is negative. So they are slowing down between 4 and 6. So that is our answer. Do you understand? So that is how we conclude from a graph. When is an object speeding up or slowing down? Remember one thing. If velocity and acceleration are both positive or both negative, that means speeding up. Otherwise, it is slowing down. Okay? Thank you.